I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5. First alert storm team here with a tropical update on the Sunday afternoon, September 15th. As of the 4 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center, we now have potential tropical cyclone 8. And the reason why the National Hurricane Center has given it this designation is now it can issue warnings out ahead of this system. There's already a tropical storm warning in place for parts of the Carolinas. I'll show you that in a second. But right now, 45 mile per hour maximum winds moving to the northwest at 7 miles per hour and will likely push inland by tomorrow afternoon before pushing to the north and west, then to the north and weakening over time. But those impacts remain the same. Rough surf gusty winds and also the potential for isolated flash flooding across much of the Carolinas and points inland as well. You see that flash flood threat covers again the majority of the Carolinas, parts of Virginia as well, Fayetteville, Raleigh, Greensboro, and that area highlighted in yellow, that level two out of four risk for isolated flash flooding. Also a tropical storm warning in place from areas far south as Charleston, Somerville in South Carolina, all the way up through Myrtle Beach, Wilmington and Jacksonville, North Carolina also included in this tropical storm warning. That means tropical storm conditions are expected within the next 48 hours. That rainfall potential really picking up along a lot of our coastal areas. Three to as high as seven inches possible along the coastline with points inland. Even seeing some good totals, two to three inches of rain. Just be very, very careful along roadways, especially if they are flooded. Turn around, don't drown. Remember that. Don't drive through those flooded roadways. Also watching one more area in the tropics, Tropical Depression Gordon that weakened over the past several hours. It will move to the west, then eventually to the north, then northeast. This will continue to meander and will likely die out in the Atlantic. Does not pose a threat to the U.S. or the Gulf Coast. You can always view the latest updates on air and on WKRG.com. And the latest tracks are always in the Hurricane Map Room on WKRG.com.